Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a video that I'm so excited about and well we'll get into it in a second but first we're gonna go ahead and play our intro. Okay guys, so, I know, I know, I know, I'm posting way quicker than usual, and I will push your Sunday video to next week, since we got two videos, like, this close together. But, I got this palette in, I looked it up, nobody had reviewed it except, like, the company itself, so I wanted to go ahead and show y'all how it performs, how I feel about it. Just a little bit of what I think in general because, you know, I like my opinion and I hope y'all do too. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I wanted to do today. I wanted to get this video up for you, let you see it. Anyways, ignore the screaming cat. I promise he's fine. He just wants in my room. So what we have got today is the Atlantis palette by Face Candy. And this is available on Shop Hush the app or shophush.com. So it looks like this got a watery feel to it of course because it's Atlantis you open it up you get a full-size mirror as well as 12 gorgeous shades all in the blue and green range now I hear you face candy usually dupes things for some of you who stalk social media this will look familiar and you will understand and if you're looking for this video you probably know anyways but on April Fool's Day Tarte made a funny joke they had their Tartlet Icy Bitch palette right they posted this all over social media people went crazy saying oh my god it's gorgeous it's not your usual just warm tones neutrals whatever and they were like please 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 make it because we will all buy it and then Tarte said April Fools they were never going to make it it was only a joke but people responded so well not well enough for Tarte to make it but well enough for face candy and their smart selves to say huh people would buy that we gonna make it so it's a little bit late however they did pound this palette out in about two months so that's kind of impressive but uh yeah they made basically a dupe to Tarte's April Fool's Day joke crazy but it worked I went online not even an hour into sales and like 2,000 had already been bought I think it might have been less than that it might have been like 20 minutes in I don't know people bought it like crazy so I know some of y'all got it and I know you're looking for a tutorial which you'll get it in a second I promise it's coming and if I say so myself it's pretty cute I think I did a good job today and I hope y'all like it but uh yeah so they duped this palette <clears throat> it is really really pretty very unique I will go into that more after the tutorial when I give you my thoughts on how it performed but hey it's pretty though right so I bet y'all probably want some swatches Okay guys, so we've got our swatches right here. I know they're uneven. Y'all know that I do that all the time. So we start out here with white caps, ripples, oceanic, stormy waters, abyss, deep sea, Poseidon, tsunami, tidal, swell, oh vanish and empire so i will say on first impression just swatching all of these mattes swatch super creamy really nice even the white has a lot of pigment to it and the shimmers especially these two right here really all three of these swatch really well too um they are a little bit chunky but they've definitely got some pigment to them so thumbs up for me <laughs> okay so we are going to quit rambling because we know I talk a lot 
Uh, sorry guys, I just get so excited and I want to talk to y'all. Y'all are some of my only friends out there. Well, actually, the only friends I have pretty much watch my channel and I suck at talking to people, you know, one on one. So this is where they talk to me. <laughs> Kidding. But really though, I love talking to you guys. Now, I'm going to quit rambling. We are going to go straight into a tutorial and see how this baby performed. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is take, it's a little busted up, but not too bad, take the color Ripples right here. This is going to be an extremely cool toned look. And we're just going to put this all in the crease to start building up our color. I'm going to turn this down just a tad and just get this going. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go into Oceanic right here. And we are going to zoom in just a little so you can see what I'm doing a little better. And we're going to take this on a smaller natural hair brush and put this in the crease. Okay, then we're going to take the color Deep Sea. This is a little bit deeper than Oceanic. And we're going to put this in the crease, focus it a little lower down, and try to build up that intensity. Okay, then last we are going to take Empire right here and focus this in that outer corner. This will just give us a tiny bit of deepness and a little bit more of a blue tint in this outer corner, but nothing too crazy. Okay, so I'm going to cut a crease real quick, and then I will be right back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my flat brushes, and first we are going to go into Tidal right here and pop this in the inner corner of the lid. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Swell right here. This is a really good teal. I'm gonna put this in the middle of the lid. Okay, then last I'm gonna take Tsunami right here this is a really dark shimmer i'm gonna put this on the outer corner of that lid okay that is it for the lid i'm gonna go ahead and do my face and then i will be right back to do this lower lash line. Okay, so everything is done except for this lower lash line. And the last thing I need to do, well, I have two things I need to do if I can find my stinking brush. Okay, first I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of Deep Sea and Oceanic mixed together, and I'm gonna fluff this all over my lower lash line just like so trying to be careful not to let it go too crazy and then just do the same thing over here 
Then on a smaller brush, I'm gonna take Empire right here and line that super close to the lower lash line, just hugging it right up here. And this will give it a deep, smoked out effect, but fluffing it first makes it look a little more neat but messy. I don't know if that even makes sense. So we just pull this across here, and then the lower lash line is smoked out. Really nice. Perfect. And now we are going to take a little bit of title. Of course, this first color. And we're going to take it on my little bullet brush and just pop this all the way down into the inner corner and dragging it along the lower lash line to tie everything together. Right through here. And we are also going to take just a little bit of white caps because I don't want to go too shimmery. We're going to take a little bit of white caps and just pop that right up here for a slight little highlight on the brow bone, but not a shiny one. Just a little bit of light right there to tie the look together. And that is, that is it. So here is a close up of the look. And here are my final thoughts. Okay, first off, I'm getting better at these looks, you guys. This is kind of cute. Okay, so here's how I feel. First off, like I said at the beginning, I absolutely love that they did this because they saw people say, hey, why are you joking? Bitch, we would buy that. So they said, oh, you would buy it? Well, why don't we go ahead and make it? So they didn't dupe it, but they duped it. And I mean, it's spot on. It's exactly what Tarte joked about. However, as you can see, let's let this focus. These shades had a lot of fallout. There's a lot of mess in here. They're pretty chalky. Um, which, and like we know, that is not a make or break quality, but be prepared. This is a messy palette super messy um i have like little blue shadows all over the place um it is a little bit hard to get the pigment you will have to work up to it like i really thought once i went in with a uh, deep sea right here that i was going to get the deep smoked out look i wanted but it took literally the darkest shade to get everything smoked out how i wanted it because the pigment isn't quite there in the mattes it's still good you can still build it up perfectly fine but it's not wowing me and this I will say when it comes to things off of the hush app I adore adore their dupes I love the affordable options I think I think it's a really cool thing because some people can't afford had this palette really come out from Tarte it would have been 40 45 dollars some people can't afford that 14 is a lot more reasonable I think that's wonderful. People are aware that when you buy the dupe, you're not going to get the quality of the high-end brand 90% of the time. Now, that's not to say it's bad. It's just to say you're going to have to work a little bit. Sorry, baby, but you got to work to make palettes like this perform like the high-end sometimes. There are exceptions, but usually palettes at this price range, you got to work with them for a second. You aren't going to, they're not going to blend themselves, you know, but I don't know like I just hate that it was messy but the shimmers were gorgeous I'll say that uh, the mattes did eventually blend super well it took me a minute but they got there they're pretty it's nice I like it I think 
if you're going to order something off of the Hush app and you want something that you legitimately can't get anywhere else because the original palette never even really came out, this is a great option. If you like blues and greens, and it is hard to find a ton of blues and greens in one palette, this is perfect. Like if you have, I think it's brown eyes that blues and greens really make pop. Hey, go for it. I think it's a gorgeous palette. I think the look I got was wonderful. Um, I think that this would be a better companion palette for most people because although I do love this eyeshadow, I wouldn't rock this to the grocery store or to work most days. But this is a great companion palette if you want some good blue shimmers, some mattes, whatever. Perfect. If you're into blue eyeshadow and you want some ocean vibes like what I gave you today, even better. So yeah, I guess my final thoughts are just that this is definitely worth the buy. You will have to work with it, but it is definitely a super cute, really nice, very unique palette. I'm very impressed. It is flow approved, whoever cares about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is wonderful. But I suppose that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye you guys.